Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chilling With channel. Come in, come in. The Tamagotchi Uni, Mr. Biscuit turned into Mitsumaruchi. I wish I could say it was on purpose. I wish I could say that I went with lower happiness on purpose, but I was busy. Okay, so for the past year about, I've been volunteering at this local garden just because, I don't know if you know this about Kakujo, but uh, he loves plants. I'd like to do things to try to get myself around more plants. So I met this older lady there who was asking if I would be interested in helping out with her yard, uh, you know, once a week or whatever. And so, yeah, I was doing that. And then, yeah, their happiness got a little low and they turned into Mitsumaruchi. All fine with me, we're set, um, I would say down a, a divergent path, but from this stage, from the child stage, they can become any teen. So, I guess we still have full options open to us. I think I'm going to keep this trend going, though. I think I'm going to keep going down the middle path. Um, for that, on, on this one with Mr. Biscuit, they're going to have to have happiness between 6 and 14. So I'm going to try to maintain that today. I will be going out with my family for this, like, cultural art fair walk thing, but I'll do my best to keep an eye on them. You know, the Tamagotchi Yudi is so dang loud. It's so dang loud and tinny, right? Very loud, but they're never loud when you want them to be. Like when they have between not six and 14 happiness, maybe they could say something then, I don't know. Oh, but guess what? There's a new game out apparently in the arcade. They replaced the firework photo game with matching. And I was kind of honestly hoping the dancing was going to be the one that they changed out because yeah, I guess there's a game that's gonna switch out with the seasons, right? The photo firework thing, that was summer. The matching one is going to be an autumn fall thing supposedly. I don't know, I haven't even tried it yet, but without further ado. Yeah, that's definitely an autumn landscape right there. <laughs> okay, match falling up, match fall items. Wait, what? Oh, it's literally just a match game. Okay. All right, let's give it a go. And, ugh. <gasps> oh no! Just don't get the worm. No matter what you do, do not get that worm. I don't want to touch it. Okay, already I saw the pumpkin. I only memorized one thing, by the way. This is going to go poorly. I think there's like a timer. Oh, this is rough. Y'all, I literally just said don't get the worm and I got the worm. Okay, I was going to say dancing is the most ridiculously difficult, unfair game on this thing, but this might be up there, okay? Uh, cut me some slack, okay? I I'm looking at this thing from a little further away than I normally would, right? I've got it in front of the camera for you! For you! Okay, round two. This time I'm going to use all of my my elementary school memorization powers. Here I go. Da 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 Again, I literally don't remember where- I guess you just need to remember where the worm was. And I already don't remember where the worm was. <laughs> okay, we got we got grapes, we've got chestnuts, we got a plumpkin, and I uh, really come on! I made two matches. Please, no! I, I'm not. I don't have a child's matching brain anymore. It's one of those skills that we just kind of stop exercising as we get older. Okay, new strategy. Um, yeah, literally, just don't get that bottom left where the worm is. I didn't memorize where anything was except for the worm. Okay, we got chestnut. We got grapes and pumpkins. We've got... Is that a persimmon? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. It only took me like 30 seconds to find that match, guys. Ugh. Well, I didn't get the worm. I, I guess maybe you just get zero if you don't... Ah, okay. So as long as you don't get the worm and you get even a single match... We really? You get a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way they give you more than 300 for matching all of them. There's absolutely no way. Because they haven't done that for any better performances for any of the other games. So, uh, unless... Unless... Okay, worm smack dab in the middle. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so worm is smack dab in the middle. Just ignore the worm. Okay, we got a pumpkin. We got some grapes. We got some apples. Okay, that was a fluke. But that's, that's fine. Flukes also count. Okay, pumpkin... And pumpkin, do not hit that worm in the middle, no matter what you freaking do. Okay, the, I'm doing this on purpose now. I've activated my f my full power, and I okay. I've, okay, here we go. Now I've activated my full power. Um, yeah, there we go. See, this is this is the full power of Kakujo. There we go. GG first try. Ooh, a full bounty. What a cornucopia. Everything but a worm. Surely. I told you. I freaking told you. There was no way they were going to reward my efforts. <laughs> okay, note to self, if I do that one, uh, just, yeah, get like one match and then just go, I guess, chill until it, it runs out the timer because there's really no point. I mean, other than literally improving your brain, because I guess doing these kind of memory matching games is literally good for your brain. So maybe I should do it more. 
Maybe. I don't know. Either way, I'm here to play with Tamagotchis, not stave off Alzheimer's. Not not yet, anyway. I gotta be careful. I'm pretty sure that happiness is outside of the range of 6 to 14 now. That's fine. I don't know how quickly it falls. They, they It does deplete very, very slowly. I'll say that much. But I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah, we got a new medallion, too. Let me show you. Uh, also, we didn't actually talk about this yesterday, but Mitsu, uh, Mitsumaruchi or uh, Mr. Biscuit, they're quiet. They're just a quiet Tamagotchi. That's their whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to change their their icon because we got this one for doing a hundred perfect games. <laughs> Why is there a Mamichi medallion? Oh, there's a medallion for each of the Tamagotchis you ended with. Oh, okay. So where's the one for playing a bunch? Is it this one? I'm pretty sure it's that one. Either way, we got to represent that Mimichi pride. There we go. We've got two things going on in our lives. Our parent was Mimichi, and also we play a lot of games. Anyone else notice how easy it is to scratch these screens? Like, I, I, I know they don't really have a great track record of that with any of the virtual pets, at least not the Tamagotchis, but holy cow. I just put it in my pocket and I pulled it out and it looked like I scraped it along some concrete. It was, it was pretty intense. Okay. Uh, I got all this plant talk going and I really do want to go to the Tama Mall. I want to see if I can deck out a room in some kind of terrarium looking greenhouse aesthetic. I, I know it's possible. There's like forest backgrounds and we already have a plant table. So let's see what we have available to us today. Normal, cyber, flamingo, street, black and white, space and rainbow and outdoor. Maybe outdoor? Maybe wood room? Good lord, there's a lot. Nature! Hey! Okay, we might do that one. Let's circle back around. Hmm, actually, outdoor does look a lot nicer, but I'm confused as to how that's going to translate into a room, so let's go with what actually looks like a room. We'll, we'll grab the nature one. Welcome, Builder Chi. Yes, come in. I, I don't know how you're going to even start pulling apart all the clouds. Good god, wear a mask! Woof! This guy lives rough, but the room already looks a lot better. Next, we need to buy some furniture that'll match the plant aesthetic. Um, let's see. Skateboard racks? No. Pumpkin sofa? Oh, I imagine that is a, uh, a, a time-sensitive one. Let's go ahead and buy that just because tis the season, <laughs> almost. At least, I don't know, Spirit of Halloween in my area has been open since, like, July, which is kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. Pattern lamp? I guess that kind of looks like a mushroom. I guess that could kind of match the aesthetic. And lastly, let's check for some accessories. Um, is there anything different that they could put on their hat? The sauna hat. That seems like a good match for Amitsu Maruchi. First things first, let's take this plant shelf and replace this rainbow thing with it. Yeah, I mean, that's looking amazing. Already, you could probably just not change anything if you really wanted to. But uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the Pee Wee Herman couch and let's replace it with this pattern mushroom-esque lamp. Oh, that just looks nice. <laughs> that is not how big I expected that thing to be. <laughs> it's like a baby wearing daddy's hat. That's just great. That's just wonderful. Okay, well, I haven't been completely honest with you up until this point on this, uh, this episode today. There is another way we could get the middle course Tamagotchi. We could feed them 40 or more snacks. That would make it to where I don't have to worry about keeping an eye on their happiness being a specific level. But also that's 40 snacks. I don't know if that's healthy. I don't know if Mr. Biscuit, I mean, Mr. Biscuit would become like Mr. Croissant, you know what I'm saying? Like Mr. Mr. Bagel, Mr. English Muffin. I, actually, English Muffins aren't that big. Uh, or as they call it in other parts of the world, Scone. Okay, we'd have to name them Mr. Loaf. And I don't like that. Mr. Biscuit, I like them as they are. So let's just keep it... Let's just play it by the seat of our pants. Worst case, we end up getting a Tamagotchi that's like even lower on the evolution chain, and that's fine. That'll be a new Tamagotchi for us to explore. It's all good. Don't worry about it. How about we go check in on the Discord channel, see what everyone's up to. Previously, Dracoon was trying to get all of the Digimon in the DMX1, and they say they feel inspired to start it back up and see if they can finish their catalog, and apparently they had left off with Omegamon, and uh, they say Diabolomon X as well. Good luck, Dracoon. Flairchi says they have the Melody Friends Tama Smart card in their Tamagotchi Smart, and the current Tama evolved into Melody Chi, their favorite. I've never had Melody Chi before, and I also never ended up getting any smart cards for my Tama Smart. I wanted to, like I had them on my Amazon wish list, and they've even gone down to like reasonable prices on Amazon. I just haven't gotten around to doing so. Ren Ren says that her Axolotl Chi got married today, and they made like a puppy dog sad face. Don't be sad because they're gone. Be happy that you had them in your life. You know what they say about grief? It is love with nowhere to go. Although in this case, you could just call them. Oh, I love to see this. Witty here says we have them wanting to start their DMX back up. I love to see folks getting inspired. I love to see all the new faces. Ever since I started this series back up, 
you know, this Tamauni series, we've been seeing a lot of returning faces, we've been seeing some new faces, and I'm glad to see everyone in the Discord. I'm glad to see people playing with their virtual pets and finding joy in them. That's what it's all about. Okay, this segment's getting a little long in the tooth, but I just wanted to, this is the last one, I swear. They said that, uh, Hero says that I have personally inspired them to get a, a Digimon even when they never had one as a kid. But hold on a second, what's with the Tamagotchi Uni they have there? What's with the, what's with the pattern? Is this custom? I'm loving the Mimichi and the little Robachi and the little Gozaruchi there. Those are the classic designs. Oh, that just brings back, oh, ah, I'm dripping with nostalgia. Eh. Hey, why don't we go visit our little uh, ninja star dude out here in the garden? Come on, the, yeah. Weird how you walk out and they're not there, then suddenly they are. I, I would say it's probably because they're a little ninja and that they only come out because they desire me to see them, but I imagine it does it with all of the little pets. They're so happy. Do you like the jukebox? Are you jamming out? Here, I can't. No, there's no music coming out of it. At least none that I can hear, unless it's ninja music. Is that a thing? I'm gonna take uh, our little Mr. Biscuit on a on a walk here today. I'm gonna try to get some materials for some DIYs. There are some straight up Tamagotchis that, um, I mean, you know, as always, you can get them by doing no care mistakes and high happiness and stuff, but there are some Tamagotchis that require lots of DIY craft, so I just wanna prepare, right? I just wanna prepare. I literally, I thought that this was one of those like advanced devices where it can tell if you're shaking it, but according to people in our Discord channel, you, you could still just shake it. I don't want to do that though, because that's I'm I'm lazy, and for some reason, I guess just taking a walk with my Tamagotchi when I'm already walking my dog anyway seems more lazy, because I'm I'm knocking out two birds with one stone. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. All right, that's all for today, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to our patrons for supporting this channel, especially Shifter and Dog Trainer 89, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.